Hi, welcome to Smutty Nose. I'm J.T. Thompson, the Minister of Propaganda. We're right here in the headquarters of Smutty Nose Brewing Company. It's our only brewery right now. Uh, all of our beer comes from here, and it always has for 19 years, uh, right here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, we can trace our roots back to the earliest days of craft brewing in New England. Our founder and president, Peter Eggleston, uh, opened his first brewery in Northampton, Massachusetts in 1987, uh, the Northampton Brewery, which is still there. He and his sister Janet uh, then opened uh, the Portsmouth Brewery in downtown Portsmouth in 1991. And then when a small little microbrewery went out of business here in 1993, uh, he ended up with the assets of the company and that's how Smutty Nose was born and we've been here ever since. So now you do craft beer. Yes. So now what exactly is craft beer? Uh, craft beer, uh, well sort of a tenuous definition, but the way that we look at craft beer is uh, beer that's made with natural ingredients, uh, beer that's brewed uh, in sort of a lineage with traditional brewing styles, but not exclusively limited to that. Uh, we want to make products with integrity uh, in, in a natural way um, that are dynamic and flavorful and delicious. So you've been here for 19 years, but you have some new things coming up soon? We have a lot of new exciting things on the horizon. Um, we've uh, got a couple of limited release beers coming out. Um, our seasonal beers are always exciting, but the biggest piece of news, and it's it'll really start a new chapter in our company's history, is we own a 14-acre farm down in Hampton, and right now, uh, we're about 65% of the way done with construction on a brand new brewery with state-of-the-art production equipment. Um, we'll have uh, an apple, uh, a fruit orchard there, we have some beehives, and the best part is we'll have a 95-seat pub and restaurant that's built in uh, the Victorian farmhouse. Ooh, that sounds so, so nice. Oh, it's going to be great. When people come to visit, they'll be able to have a whole experience. They'll be able to stroll in the orchard, uh, they can have a pint and a burger, they can take a tour, um, and they can see this beautiful new facility. Well, speaking of tours, I'd love to take a tour here. Absolutely. If you just want to go through that door, okay, we'll show you go. where the magic happens. Okay. I'm here with Dave Yarrington, who is the master brewer here at Smutty Nose, and this is where the magic happens. Uh, yeah, so this is the beginning of our process here. Um, these bags here uh, hold uh, malted barley, uh, which is the beginning of our process. Uh, malted barley is full of uh, starches, uh, and then actually enzymes that can break those starches down to fermentable sugars. Uh, so we're trying to make beer here, which is, uh, has alcohol in it. The alcohol is actually uh, uh, fermented from these sugars that we start, again, in this malted barley. Uh, so behind me is a mill. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, run all this barley through the mill to open it up. Um, and uh, then we'll be adding water to it to activate that process to break those starches down into sugars. Um, so as a creative brewer, the first thing I'm going to do is choose from all these variety of different uh, barleys we have here and blend them for a different color um, and flavor components. Okay, so uh, this is the next part of the process. This is an area that we call the brew house. Um, the first vessel here on my left is uh, what's called a, a mash tun. We're going to add our crushed grain in hot water here. Uh, we're going to slowly uh, bring the liquid out uh, from the bottom of this vessel and separate it from the insoluble like husk material of the grain. Uh, that what we call spent grain, that husk material is going to uh, be sent to a farm and used as cattle feed. Uh, but that liquid um, is now called wort, W-O-R-T, and that wort is going to go into our boil kettle here. Um, and that's going to be basically our pre-fermented beer. Um, and uh, at this point, we're going to add our next ingredient, which are hops. Uh, they add a uh, sort of a spice to the product that you would use sort of in cooking. Uh, earlier in the boil, you get sort of your bittering quality, so you can get a nice, uh, if you like a, an IPA or a nice uh, hoppy pale ale, um, you would add um, uh, more hops in the beginning of the boil. Later uh, in the boil, you get more flavor, and then at the very end, you'd get an aroma quality. Uh, but the uh, boil takes about an hour and a half, um, and then at that point, uh, we've got all the fermentable sugars we need. We've got the color from the grain that we want for the various beers. We've got the nice hot quality we want. Um, and so we'll cool it down, and then we'll add our next ingredient, yeast, and ferment the beer. Okay. So we'll show you where that goes. Okay, let's go. Uh, so these are our fermenters here, these vessels. Um, th we're going to cool down uh, that boiling wort, and we're going to add yeast and put them into these tanks. Uh, they're actually jacketed with a cooling, uh, a cooling liquid on the outside so we can maintain fermentation temperatures. Depending on what yeast strain we add, we can either make a lager or an ale. Um, lagers uh, tend to ferment at cooler temperatures, ales are a little bit warmer temperature. 
and uh, that process takes uh, you know anywhere from one one week to three weeks. Once we've done that, um, we've actually created beer. At that point, we've captured a little bit of carbonation in there, um, and uh, we'll actually bring it down to a colder temperature and send it into uh, uh, what we call a bright tank. These tanks here behind us are called our bright tanks. They've been painted by our brewers at various times, uh, I guess when they had a little extra uh, time on their hands. But uh, uh, now this is where our beer will uh, clarify, uh, and so we'll age it a little bit more in here. Um, we'll increase the carbonation uh, if it needs to be um, to a level that will then uh, keg and bottle out of these. So these tanks will hold pressure and uh, they really act as like large kegs that'll hold the final beer. Um, and then we'll uh, I'll be able to package the beer out of those and I'll show you where that happens. Uh, so this is our bottling line here and this is where we're going to uh, uh, put the beer in the bottle and, and package it up. Uh, so at this point uh, we've got everything we need and we're just going to throw a uh, uh, beer on, uh, cap it, put a label on, and then uh, send it out to uh, uh, people and they can enjoy it uh, wherever they are. So uh, this is beer that you can get all through New England and then up and down the East Coast. Uh, we sell all the way out to Chicago and uh, looking at some new markets right now. So uh, hopefully there'll be uh, other places you can enjoy our beer. Well, I would love to taste some of your beer. Okay. Okay, so you have a little tasting uh, area here? We do. Here. Yeah, join me. Okay, thanks. This is our summer license. And um, this is a uh, great drinking beer for the summer. Uh, it's brewed with Belgian yeast and a little chamomile. Um, so it's got a nice light crisp character to it. Um, this goes uh, great with uh, broiled seafoods and all kinds of summer, beer, uh, summer foods. Mm. Um, great uh, here along the sea coast. It's, it's very light, because I like that a lot. Yeah, yeah, a little crispness with yeah. the wheat that's in there. I like that. So the next beer, this is our uh, Wunderbar Pilsner. And uh, this is a fairly traditional German style Pilsner. It's got uh, uh, dry hopped with Saz hop, so it adds a little bit of a spicy element to it from the hopping. Okay, and what kind of food would pair well with this? Um, this would go great with, uh, you know, sort of grilled sausages, maybe summer salads, things like that. It's nice and light and crisp as well. It is, very good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, this is our uh, best selling beer. This is our Smutty Nose IPA, and uh, my favorite beer. Has that been around from the beginning? Nope, I started here about 12 years ago, and this is the first recipe I came up with, um, which is maybe why I like it. But uh, Nice color. Oh, uh, it's a beautiful color, big hoppy nose, big hoppy aroma, mm. and a lot of hop character to it. Um, hoppy beers in general, and this one goes great with spicy foods, uh, you know, Thai dishes or uh, Mexican, things like that. And the next beer is our farmhouse. This is from our big beer series. Um, so these are beers with a little bit more body, a little bit more alcohol, a lot more flavor, uh, and they come in bigger bottles. Um, for sharing. For sharing, absolutely. And uh, it's brewed with a little um, pineapple sage into it to get a little bit of that note. Um, it adds almost a pineapple quality. It does. Um, yeah, so this is a great beer for oh, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, interesting cheeses can pair well with this. Um, as well as uh, you know something outside the box, maybe a Asian noodle salad or something like that. You're making me hungry. But uh, yeah, it's got a lot of character to it, so there's a lot of interesting pairings there. Well, Dave, thank you so much. It's been so interesting um, learning all about Smutty Notes, and the beer is delicious. I well, love it. thank you. I appreciate that. Well, we're going to share. We're going to do a little toast. Okay. We can drink out the bottle. Well, here, I'll try a little of the IPA. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Cheers. cheers.